Bitcoin may reach $100,000 by 2022, according to experts. Investors should be aware of the following facts. Although Bitcoin has had a rocky start to the year, experts believe it will reach $100,000, and that the question is when, not if. Bitcoin's price fell near $38,000 on Friday, as investors worried about rising inflation, geopolitical tensions, and the possibility of the US Federal Reserve tightening monetary policy. In recent months, the cryptocurrency market has increasingly tracked the stock market, making it even more intertwined with global economic factors like Russia's war in Ukraine. The Fed's March meeting minutes revealed the Fed's plan to reduce its balance sheet by $95 billion per month to combat inflation. Furthermore, according to the most recent inflation report, consumer prices increased 8.5% year-on-year through March. With no end in sight, experts predict that the war, inflation, and shifting monetary policy in the United States will drive more volatility in the coming weeks and months. The overall market has noticed the high correlation to Bitcoin and the general equities markets, Armando Aguilar, head of alternative strategies and research for Ledin, a digital asset savings and credit platform, says. The S&P 500 and Nasdaq have the highest correlations to Bitcoin, with 0.88 and 0.91%, respectively. A one-to-one -one correlation indicates that they move in the same direction. Bitcoin has only been above $45,000 for brief periods in the last four months, and hasn't been above $50,000 since December 25, 2021. Despite this, Bitcoin has remained above its six-month low of less than $34,000 in late January. Despite the ups and downs, Bitcoin's current price is still a long way from its all-time high, which was reached in November when it surpassed $68,000. Despite the recent price drop, Bitcoin is still worth more than twice as much as it was just a few years ago. Such ups and downs are nothing new for Bitcoin. Despite the volatility and recent price drop, many experts believe Bitcoin is on its way to passing the $100,000 mark, though they differ on when this will occur. In addition, According to a recent Deutsche Bank study, roughly one quarter of Bitcoin investors believe the price of the cryptocurrency will be more than $110,000 in five years. Volatility is nothing new, and it is one of the main reasons why experts advise new cryptocurrency investors to be extremely cautious when allocating a portion of their portfolio to cryptocurrency. Bitcoin's value has risen as steadily as that of any other cryptocurrency on the market over the years. It's only natural for Bitcoin investors to be interested in how far the currency can rise. Unfortunately, the price of Bitcoin is extremely difficult to predict and even more vulnerable to market factors than more established asset classes. Nonetheless, we decided to ask some experts for their best guesses. They stated as follows. Predictions for Bitcoin price. Coming off its previous all-time high in November, it was easy to forecast a Bitcoin price of $100,000 late last year. The prediction game has become even more difficult since then, thanks to Bitcoin's dramatic drop. The most fervent cryptocurrency skeptics believe Bitcoin will crash to as low as $10,000 in 2022, but a middle ground could be that the cryptocurrency can still reach $100,000, as many experts predicted late last year, just on a slower timeline. The most knowledgeable educators in the space predict $100,000 Bitcoin in Q1 2022 or sooner, Kate Waltman, a New York-based certified public accountant who specializes in cryptocurrency, told us back in November 2021. However, bullish experts are now re-evaluating the crypto industry as major corporations such as Nike and other well-known brands seek ways to monetize their products in the digital metaverse. The rise of metaverse games, worlds, products, 
and experiences is increasing the popularity of altcoins, which has altered investor perceptions of Bitcoin, known as the original crypto. Many experts are hesitant to predict a number and a date, instead pointing to Bitcoin's long-term trend of increasing in value. Last October, Jorian Timmer, director of Global Macro at Fidelity Investments, predicted that investors should expect a pretty sustainable rise in Bitcoin's long-term value driven by organic market movement, with the $100,000 mark in sight. What I expect from Bitcoin is volatility in the short-term and long-term growth, says Kiana Donyal, founder of Investiva and author of Cryptocurrency Investing for Dummies. Here are some more predictions for the coming year that we discovered, ranked from low to high. Big financial institutions have also made their own predictions, with JP Morgan predicting a long-term high of $146,000 and Bloomberg predicting it could reach $400,000 if the currency rises at past rates. Even if Bitcoin reaches $100,000, focus on expanding your overall portfolio, which should include passive index funds, emergency savings, and a retirement accounts. Supply and demand, public sentiment, the news cycle, market events, scarcity, and other normal economic factors all influence the price of cryptocurrency, just like any other currency or investment. Bitcoin's value is influenced by factors other than currency or security because it is a new and emerging asset. Among them are the following. There are only about 18 to 19 million Bitcoins in circulation right now, and minting will stop when there are 21 million. This inherent scarcity, according to industry experts, is a key component of cryptocurrency's allure. There is a fixed supply but increasing demand, says Alexis Johnson, president of Lightnode Media, a blockchain public relations and events firm. According to other experts, Bitcoin has value because people place value on it. That's really why everyone's buying, because of the psychological aspect, says Nelson Merchant, co-founder of Lightnode Media and Johnson's Lightnode Media. This can make determining whether Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are legitimate difficult for the average consumer. The entire supply and demand concept only works when people want something scarce, even if it did not previously exist. It almost appears to be a scam, Merchant says of Bitcoin's beginnings. Though he claims to have seen his cryptocurrency holdings reach millions of dollars at times since starting to invest in 2017, he also claims to have seen them vanish in an instant. I'm a big believer that if it's not in cash, you don't really have that money because anything can drop dramatically overnight in crypto, Merchant says. To protect your money from the volatility, certified financial planners recommend allocating only 1% to 5% of your portfolio to crypto. According to Waltman, one of the primary drivers of Bitcoin's price increase is the rate at which new consumers are purchasing and exploring cryptocurrency. Crypto technology is being adopted at a faster rate than humans initially adopted internet technology she says. Assuming that trend continues, the compounding acceleration of new adoption could continue to push Bitcoin's value higher and higher. According to data from the digital asset management firm CoinShares, Bitcoin adoption has been increasing at a rate of 113% per year. In the meantime, people are adopting the internet at a slower rate of 63%, if people embrace Bitcoin at the same rate as they did the internet in its early days, or faster, the report predicts 1 billion users by 2024 and 4 billion users by 2030. According to Coindesk, the number of new wallets worldwide increased by 45% between January 2020 and January 2021, reaching an estimated 66 million. Coinbase, a popular cryptocurrency exchange, claims to have over 73 million global users, while Gemini recently released its State of U.S. Crypto Report, which revealed that 21.2 million Americans own cryptocurrency of some kind. In recent months, 
federal officials have made it clear that they are interested in cryptocurrency. Industry insiders have recently alluded to hawkish federal regulation as one key driver of Bitcoin's lagging price. Seth Jins, a coin fund managing partner, said in a recent Coindesk First Mover interview that the Fed moved to a hawkish position on crypto regulation just as Omicron started to tick up in the US, which could have increased doubt in crypto as a viable asset, resulting in January's bearish sentiments. There are many unanswered questions regarding cryptocurrency regulation. President Joe Biden recently signed legislation requiring all cryptocurrency exchanges to report their transactions to the Internal Revenue Service. Similarly, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen recently stated that stablecoins, a type of cryptocurrency tied to the value of the US dollar, should be subject to federal regulation. According to an industry white paper published by Flourish, a fintech platform designed for investment advisors, the discussion about regulatory policies is patchy. With cryptocurrency being a relatively new asset class, any new regulation has the potential to affect value. When China banned cryptocurrency in September 2021, for example, the price of Bitcoin fell, though it has since risen and resumed its usual volatility. Despite the fact that Bitcoin has been around for about a decade, the Securities and Exchange Commission is taking all decisions on a case-by-case -case basis in what experts call its crawl, walk, run strategy towards mainstream crypto adoption. Regulation has evolved over the last five years, says Ben Cruikshank, CEO of Flourish. Regulators can always change their minds. Finally, a cycle known as halving has a significant influence on Bitcoin's price. It's a complicated and algorithmic process, but in essence, halving is a step in the Bitcoin mining process that reduces the reward for mining Bitcoin transactions in half. The rate at which new coins enter circulation is influenced by halving, which can have an effect on the value of existing Bitcoin holdings. In the past, halvings have been associated with boom and bust cycles. Some experts claim to be able to predict these cycles down to the day after a halving event. Financial planners and other experts warn against making emotional decisions based on Bitcoin's price fluctuations, as they do with any investment. Investors who contribute to passive index funds and ETFs on a regular basis outperform the market over time, according to research. This is due to a strategy known as dollar cost averaging. This is one of the reasons why experts advise not investing more than 5% of your total portfolio in cryptocurrency, and never investing at the expense of saving for emergencies or paying down high interest debt. People who diversify their investments, such as low-cost index funds, are more likely to achieve long-term wealth and save for retirement, with crypto playing only a minor role. Even in the case of cryptocurrency, experts agree that a set-it-and-forget-it strategy makes sense. Passive investing is a very valid way to achieve financial goals, says Sarah Catherine Gutierrez, an Arkansas-based certified financial planner. Because most people are still unfamiliar with cryptocurrency, it's fine to wait and see what happens before putting your money at risk. We only have about 10 years of data to base crypto price predictions on, and the value of Bitcoin is highly volatile from day to day, even though it may rise in the long run. Volatility makes determining the what and why of your crypto strategy difficult. Before investing in Bitcoin or any other alternative asset, consider why you want to participate in this particularly volatile market. This will aid your concentration. I don't think people understand how to value Bitcoin on a broad scale, Gutierrez says. When you're buying something, you need to know what value you're going to get out of it. According to Gutierrez, financial planners have no bias against cryptocurrency, especially if a client expresses an interest in learning more about it. However, you should consider whether or not you require cryptocurrency as part of your strategy. 
According to Gutierrez, the answer is no in the vast majority of cases. Our take is that we don't believe you need Bitcoin to achieve financial goals, she says, adding that the average person should prefer simple, easy to understand investment methods. This will keep you on track for your primary financial objectives and will better position you for a healthy retirement in the long run.